Hello guys, this is Lina Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. I got a question recently from one of my channel viewers asking can I use my Elecraft AX1 antenna, mini portable antenna, with my Icom IC705 while in the park, in the forest or being portable? Yes, why not? There is a BNC to BNC. You probably could connect the AX1 to ICOM IC705 and you go or can you let's sit and talk and let's see all right so here is my forest installation ICOM IC705 on 20 meters antenna AX1 it connected through the BNC connector to the radio and antenna is fully extended uh, the 4 meter counterpoise is connected to the radio as it's recommended in the Elecraft AX1's uh, user manual. That's understandable. So now the air is full of station, there is some contest going on. It seems like antenna is working on the receive nicely. So, but will antenna work on transmit in the Elecraft's manual? And it says that on 20 meters, this, uh, this antenna is nearly in resonance on 20 meters. So let's see with the inbuilt antenna analyzer in the ICOM IC705, what's the situation with the SWR on 20 meter band. I have switched to the antenna analyzer mode on the ICOM IC705. So now what I need to do is just push the PTT and see the SWR graph appearing. Let's see. Oh yeah, we see that the SWR is three or more than three. That's totally unacceptable, right? So what do we do? We don't have antenna tuner. In order to learn where the real resonance frequency is of the AX1 antenna, I've connected the antenna to my Nano VNA F antenna analyzer. I've connected the ground radial exactly in the same configuration as it was on the ICOM IC705, the same height about one feet above the ground, and we see the nice dip at the 15.280 megahertz. So it's more than one megahertz higher in the band than the amateur radio frequency band of 14 uh, megahertz. So 14.06 would be the frequency of my interest. So it means that the um, antenna without the antenna tuner is not really anywhere close to the amateur radio band being able to operate without the antenna tuner. So, if we don't have antenna tuner with us today, so what do we do? Go home and quit the experiment. Not... So, the answer, my friend, could be here in this capacity hat. Antenna AX1 with the capacity hat on top. Antenna is connected straight to the BNC connector of the transceiver ICOM IC705. The transceiver sits in the small foldable chair, the microphone and the homemade CW pedal and works very well. So, and the comfortable chair for operator to sit on. All right, let's take a look at the SWR again. Push PTT. Perfect. We don't exceed 1.5. So, and uh, the whole CW portion of the band is absolutely less than 1.5. 1 1.1, 1 1.2, and it's only increasing up to 1.5 further on into the SSB range of the band, uh, up to until 14.120 uh, uh, megahertz. So that's, that's amazing. So the whole CW portion and basically big part of the, of the um, CSSB portion also 
uh, are perfectly tuned uh, in resonance without no tuner just with this little capacity hat Yeah, finally. 449 Yes, perfect. I made a contact with German station Delta Fox 5 Sugar Fox. He gave me 449. Very good. With this, such a minimalistic antenna and the capacity had its simplicity in itself is just four maybe 10 centimeter or 11 centimeter long pieces of wire uh, soldered together in the cross shape and then this cross is soldered up to the croco clip and the croco clip just clips on the antenna whip and that's it so you may you may wish to improvise with the capacity head you may make it longer to, to make it a square or to make it a round shape of the head um, so connecting the spokes together with the additional wires all this will bring additional capacity uh, for, for the head and then you have to of course to experiment with your resonant frequency movement and in this way we can have cheap quick and extremely effective mod for the antenna x1 improvement lima yankee 2 hotel portable lima yankee 2 hotel stroke portable number two mike zulu special event station lima yankee 2 hotel stroke portable lima yankee 2 hotel stroke portable lima yankee 2 again Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Stroke Portable. Okay, Linus, good afternoon. I turn my antenna on your side. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel and 5 Edge is your report, Roger. Roger, Roger, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Stroke Portable. London Yankee 2 Hotel, Stroke Portable. Good afternoon, you're a 5 by 9 59. I'm running QRP. QRP 5 watts. Okay, Lina. Q20 Italy Uniform 3 Bravo Tango Yankee Italy Uniform 3 Bravo Tango Yankee. Number 2 Mike Zulu QRP. Okay, right. We got it. So now that we have the X1 antenna working with the capacity head very nicely on 20 meter band. Let's see where's the real resonant frequency of this antenna is on the 17 meter range. So, and, and we see that the, the dip uh, on the nano VNA is at the frequency 19.6 megahertz. It means it, it's, it's like more than one megahertz uh, high from the amateur radio band on 17 meters and like uh, 2 megahertz down from the 21 megahertz amateur band frequencies so uh, that's that's where the real resonance uh, resonance is it might vary of course depending on the circumstances on the ground on the situation on everything uh, but this is uh, uh, my situation uh, with the same situation where the transceiver is uh, so the same counterpoise and the same antenna just it connected to the nano vna f so now the question is uh, would the capacity head help the frequency get down and be usable without the tuner just with the capacity head on the 17 meter band
the SWR graph is ready. All we need to do is just to push a PTT several times and we will see the SWR graph nice and clear. Almost in the whole band range, not speaking about the, uh, the CW portion of the 17 meter band, we have very much acceptable SWR just a little bit more than 1.5 maybe 1.6 uh, but uh, it's still it's still okay uh, i think if would i uh, mingle a little bit with the counterpoise uh, try to find the better location i would definitely get um, uh, the better result but as it is now saving time for the quick deployment uh, in the quick deployment situation so i think uh, i can try to make some qso's as it is Oscar Yankee 1 Charlie Tango station very good contact on 17 meters with the capacity head and the AX1 antenna Lima Yankee 2 hotel stroke portable Lima Yankee 2 something portable go again with your call again my friend Roger Roger Lima Yankee 2 hotel Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable. Over, over. Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable from Mike Zero, Kilo Charlie Victor. We well, were right down in the noise, my friend. You're down in the noise, but you are making it at a 5x3, five 5x3 by three, five by three when allowed with QS Baker. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Roger. You are 5x9, 59. 5 by 9, 59. My, it, this is QRP station, QRP station, QSL, over, over. Lima Yankee 2, Hotel Stroke Portable. I think I've lost you, my friend. The QSB is taking you away. Roger, Roger, you are 5 by 9, 59. Lima Yankee 2, Hotel Portable. You are 5 by 9, 59. 5 by 9, QSL. Five and nine, my friend. Have a good day, and uh, I hope you get many more contacts from your portable station from Mike Zero, Kilo Charlie Victor. Roger, Roger, 73. Good luck. Ciao, ciao. All right, so on us, even on, on SSB, it's no problems to make contacts on 17 meters with this antenna. So on 15 meter band, it seems that it's no capacity head is needed, it's just enough. Uh, in the in the uh, with the uh, with the switch with the band switch in the upper position in the 17 meter band, it's enough just to make uh, the antenna whip a little bit shorter until we see until we see the um, the dip in the in the range of the like 21.16 uh, megahertz. No, no success on on the 15 meters today, but it's uh, pretty quiet, uh, low propagation. Uh, even even though it was possible to hear some uh, uh, DX station even on this antenna, but of course no chance um, uh, to get through the pileup. Anyway, uh, AX1 is pretty much workable with the with the ICOM IC705 using capacity head or just a Jeshinka whip on, on 15 meter band. So uh, the problem with the tuner solved. We, we found out that the capacity head is a really good solution we also learned that the capacity head uh, makes uh, a lot of difference uh, in getting this wr 
down to less than 1.5 on the CW portion and also makes possible work on SSB. A lot of things to think about, a lot of things to, to make an experiment with. Range starting and I have to wind up my operation, but it was very successful experiment today. Uh, I've learned that the capacity head might help a lot in using this great little Elecraft AX1 antenna uh, with the radio like ICOM IC705 or any other radio which has not installed antenna tuner in it and in this way with the, by the means of capacity head uh, we can make turn the antenna put the antenna into resonance uh, and use it without the antenna tuner and with the with the capacity head at the same time we also increase the radiation resistance it means the effectiveness of the antenna with capacity head is much bigger much greater than just the base coil loaded antenna so the short whip with capacity head with the no any other changes or reconstructions of the AX1 antenna, the capacity head makes it workable with any radio and pretty effectively. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section. How were your results with the AX1 and other radios except of Aircraft AKX2? Please consider subscribing if you wanna if, if you wanna hear and uh, see more stories like that. And for today, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Seventy three. This is Linus Lima Yankee Two Hotel.